during the week preceding that evening. In the course of the evening, the witnesses of that absolutely incredible night here at the San Carlos, they tell us that a young girl from the Key West called Maria Luisa Sanchez played in the piano a grand march called Las Profecias de Martí, The Prophecies of Jose Martí, which probably made it the first song ever written to Martí on this very house. So it is with great pleasure that we continue that tradition by bringing the music inspired by Martí, a tradition that began right here, to, to you all tonight. Jose Martí needs the presentation. He is the foremost example of human selflessness. He devoted his entire life and his many talents, and there were many, to the cause of Cuba's freedom. He was a diplomat, he was a writer, he was a journalist, he was a poet, but above all, he was a Cuban who decided that a dream of free Cuba was a possibility. And even though he never saw it, because he died in battle before Cuba became independent, he knew it would happen. So it's a tribute to tenacity and to, and to a dream which eventually came true, and a dream that we still pursue every single day. Jose Martí um, was, as I said earlier, was tributed in music right here in, in Key West in 1891, and from, from that time on, many Cuban and foreign composers have devoted their attention to, um, to Martí because he was a, an extraordinary poet. His use of language became a new school of literary writing called modernism. Because he was a poet, a lot of people also put, set to music some of his most beloved poems. So the program tonight has two sets. The first set is music written honoring Martí, and the second set, after the brief intermission, will be music set uh, to Martí's poems. On the, on the, the, we've tried to make the program as universal as possible, because Martí was a very universal man, and we've tried to have, from a musical point of view, marches, hymns, waltzes, danzón, leader, art songs, so it a, it's a, encompasses a lot of music from hundred and some years. From the point of view of uh, the type of music, also we have children's music, music by great composers, music by lesser known composers, music played in schools, music by people in exile, people uh, in Cuba. So we tried to make it um, as true as possible to his thought delivered here in Florida and Tampa many years ago with all and for the good of all. Marti is an example of of all coming together, and that's the purpose of this concert too, in his honor. Um, Martí's music um, has been in sarsuelas, in operas. We have a Cuban-American named Bernardo who presented an opera uh, of uh, Martí's work in New York several years ago, in theater, in dance, in films, in um, all sorts of uh, all sorts of rhythms and, and uh, locations, and people from the United States, from Uruguay, from Honduras, from Mexico, many have sung to Martí. As I said, Florida occupies a very special place in the music relationship of Martí. Um, the week that Martí traveled here, he was in Tampa, and on that occasion, something very beautiful happened. A uh, tobacco worker named Benito Mahalorens was in listening to Martí in one of his speeches and he approached Martí and said, Maestro, I would like to set one of your poems to music. And Martí was so impressed by that request that immediately he set and composed the poem right on the spot. 
The music was lost because, of course, it was never recorded at the time. But fortunately, someone from Florida remembered it and carried the tradition. It was sung in homes and families. And some years ago, someone in Cuba was at a, at a party, at a private party, and heard the song and immediately recognized its importance and proceeded to copy into sheet music the um, music notation, the song, so it would be preserved. Fortunately, the manuscript uh, has been uh, recovered and we will be pleased to sing it tonight. Um, I don't think it has been heard in Florida for over a hundred years. In fact, the music we have chosen, we have 16 songs, I think only about four of them have ever been heard in the United States. So we have a true premiere here of the music. I'm going to give briefly a, a little summary of what you will be listening to. The first half, music by Martí, has a, a march at the beginning, then Cuba and Martí by Mauri Esteve, a very important composer of the 19th century. Then we have a, a, a piece by a great um, composer, Olga de Blanc, called the 28th of January, which is the, the birthday of Martí, followed by another one called Veinte de Mayo, which is the day we celebrate tomorrow, the beginning of the Republic, in which the poet Joaquín Navarro, Du Casal, um, writes about the Republic and about Martí's dream in forging that Republic. That is found by a piece by a composer who mostly wrote music for children in school, so that school children could sing to Martí. And it's called José Martí, and the lyrics are by one of the foremost Cuban poets, Bonifacio Virne, from Matanzas. Then we go to an incredible contribution by a new...